in here. This is not an ideal place to have a meeting. I don't know. It's too open. Maybe if we went up on the little we bluff go to our up, uh, left. Just right there, yeah. Thinking that. Okay. Hope they can see us. They go. There they are. Let's go meet them and head up there. Here, hello, let's, head, uh, hello. let's head up to, on this little bluff so we're not just in the middle of this. Melody! Kind of hello, hello! Howdy! Oh, this had a terrible nightmare. Mm. <sighs> that good, huh? Uh, I was stuck in the same repeating dream over and over. <laughs> How close do you need to see him? <laughs> Remember, I had that. Damn. <clears throat> so, who do we got? The. Uh, <sighs> with the nearly dead little Cray. That's who. There you go. Isabella, and then... Okay, let's get off of this. Yeah, yeah it hurts to look up at you guys. <laughs> uh, Ross is gonna stare at her horse, so it's the first time somebody's looked up to her. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry. Why does that sound so true, though? <laughs> Henry and I just... Sorry. Sorry. Don't eat a side of me, make me look extra tiny. I'm average, goddamn. Okay, that's okay, guys. There you go. You're taller than me. Yeah, you're, 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 you're taller than me, so you're fine. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, here we go. You're fine. Taller than that. Um. Why am I? Like. <laughs> okay, can I just ask that we get all the tall people just to fuck off? <laughs> wow. wow. You know what? You know, I'm gonna stand behind Ouch. you now, just to make you feel <laughs> even smaller. You're fucking towering over her. <laughs> Ow! I might not feel it, but at least you feel it. <laughs> okay. That's the first time I heard that. What? Okay. What? Oh. Nothing. Okay. Just go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's been a day. It has been a day. You're fucking telling me. So what's um, going on? I wanted to talk to you about something Bear might bring up to you okay. before he brings it up to you. If he ever mentioned something about me ratting him out, I did not. I was just doing my goddamn fucking job. I um, mean, I guess that's a perspective thing. Yeah, but pretty much I had brought in Demon from mm -hmm. the Jackdaws after... One of my coworkers had identified her, and they proceeded to hunt me down, find me. Got into a little pissing match with Red Hill. Gave me to Red Hill. And once Red Hill was done with me, I don't remember what the jackdaws did, but I ended up with four bullet holes. And I wanted to let you know that I, if they're trying to fucking villainize me, that's not the fucking case. Because I, despite my profession, still love some of you guys. Maverick, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, fuck you too, Cray. Well, yeah, I just, I just wanted to talk about that before he tried anything. Because I'm, like, literally living right down that way. He did mention that to me, because I, I talked to him a few days ago now. Yeah. I know it's... He's claiming I'm a rat, but I'm not. Okay, say one of us has a bounty, what would you do? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm too afraid of you guys to do anything. Plus, as far as my knowledge, you guys don't torture people. And I want to keep it that way.
Okay. Um, as long as you don't give us problems, I don't see us giving you problems. Yeah. No, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Make sure I was a whole understanding thing. I do appreciate you uh, wanting to reach out and have this chat face to face because I don't think I've been able to talk to you since, well, you couldn't talk the last time I seen you. Well, not too far off from that. Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, I mean, overall, okay. Good. How's your relationship with Theodore? Uh, well, we don't hate each other. And I'm not going to get into your guys' business with him or his business with yours. I really don't give enough of a shit. <laughs> you care about what happens to him? I do. But also, sometimes he can be a fucking loudmouth and kind of sort of deserve it. Just don't torture him. That's all I ask. Well, I guess, I mean, the reason I'm bringing that up is maybe you could... I talk to him and get him to calm yeah. the fuck down? Yeah. No, don't, don't. Tell him that there's only one way this is going to end for him. Whether he thinks he's a big fucking badass, I don't think he truly understands how much re restraint we've held against him. Yeah, understandable. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll talk to him. I will say I think... he did have a chat with Wyatt, and he said that he would stop using Ethan's name in vain against us. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. What else was I going to say? I wanted to say something, but I can't fucking remember it. What do you fucking do? Ow, 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 fuck, ow. Um, question, favor, possibility. Ask, I won't say that we'll necessarily grant a favor, but go ahead. If you guys ever run into Dakota Thorn, she happens to be carrying a double action with a pearl handle with the panther on it. Could you nicely remove it from her? If you have to pay her, I will pay you back double. I just, if I go near her, she's more than likely going to kill me, and she took that off of me. Pearl handle double action? Well, I can't um, make any promises. I yeah. honestly haven't seen her in a while. I don't know, like eight or nine months. Yeah, no, I just saw her today, and well, now I have a way to remember Red Hill. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah. What was it? A double bear? Double action. Double action. Double action. With a pearl handle and a snake on it, you said? A panther. A panther, sorry. But yeah. Yeah, that's all I ask. That thing means a lot. That was my first actual customized weapon. So. Why would they brand you? Um, to remember them every time I think about speaking hmm. about them. Also to make me remember that anytime I address them, it's sir and ma'am. Fuck them. Jesus. Yeah. Respectfully. That's I cannot wait till it's a power move. Is it though? Yeah. Is it a desperation? It's, it's an attempt at power. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, they also decided, oh, we're gonna Fucking give her Oleander. That's a smart idea. But yeah. So. And you know, if you see them, a little anonymous telegram on whether they are might be useful. Anywho, I'm gonna give Maverick a hug and then go pass the fuck out because yeah, yeah. I feel like dying right now.
Yeah, go rest up. Actually, I rest up. Yeah. Thank you for existing. I'm sorry about your loss. I never got to say that. Thank you for that. And, uh... I guess Abby, it's up to you. What? Nothing. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Two rounds she did. Uh, he had a headache. Oh. He's kind of fell asleep behind us. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll so. go poke him. Also, if any of you guys need weapon customization, once I could get my arm working, I'd definitely do it for you. Thank you. I need the business. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we Focus going? on healing. Release. JJ and uh, Bella. Oh, sorry, I couldn't. Your fucking names. Uh, left my head uh, for a moment. Yeah, stay safe. Um, if you need me, I'll be around. For, you too. Uh, over the next few days, so. Uh, Take care, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. No offense, but I won't ever be going to her for weapon yeah, stuff no. since she takes yeah, forever. It's gonna take like seven days. Well, cause she's never fucking around. Yep. Yeah. Sleep. Remember, she was done with Faraday's revolver and didn't give it back to him because she was in a bad mood. Can I put bread down? No! No! no. <laughs> what the fuck? How? It's... <laughs> Actually, maybe we'll give it another couple minutes for see if he wakes up. <sighs> it's hard for me to believe that, what she says, so... She has issues with cults. She's fucking announced it to the world before. Y'all can be friends with her, but... Well, it's weird because we like hated each other for a while because of Felix, but then like now all of a sudden she, we don't. It, yeah, when she weird. needs friends, which mm -hmm. is, yeah. It might be your cousin, the thing. I don't know what, Henry. Uh, she's technically my niece, and yeah, so she's a quote unquote family. But I don't trust her, so I was like to throw her. Yeah. You know. She wanted to have a chat with Rosalind, you know, I was like, fine, she can have a chat with Rosalind, you know, and then that gets dealt with from then on, like, you know, I'm not making decisions on that, so. Yeah, I think she's just worried that we're coming after her next. I guess she's doing the yeah. job, do it, but leave us the fuck alone. I mean, I got a kind of respect that she came to us, it was just her and... Mm-hmm. JJ. Just her and JJ. Yeah. Yeah. And she wanted to talk instead of just assuming and running around and telling her fucking buddy like Anna Conrad does. I, mean, I don't like the fact that fucking Red Hill going around branding people. But, uh, it's a little weird. Unless but... it happened. Yeah, I mean, unless it happens to one of us, it's not really our concern. Yeah. Hey, Mav. Yeah. What? Nah, I'm not. I'll be nice. What? I was just gonna say, you having fun kidnapping What's your intentions with my daughter? <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. God damn it, my God. Um, okay. Uh, That's your daughter true. and I were... Using kidding. each other as emotional oh. support and pouring our hearts out because we're both uh, upset about <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> go get her. You started this shit. <laughs> go get I was her. Talking to Melody. You started. No. Don't run her over. All right. When we get to the homestead, I'm gonna go to bed. It's very late. 
Yeah, I was surprised to see you wait. Um, I was awake based on I'm just sheer, the sheer stubbornness. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just giving y'all a hard time, you know that, man. <laughs> I know, brother. <laughs> okay, Pedro. Abby. Yeah, I never did check telegrams. You're right. Hmm? Alrighty, I'm off to bed, folks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bread. Sorry, bread. Not sorry. Oh, oh, the log. That's just rude. That's just mean. Smack my head against the log. No. You're lucky I have a thick skull. Wait, I would hope that you have a thick. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'll observe that. No, you're very misty. Skull around. You know, Roz, if it was beneficial to us at all, I could ask Felix if he knows anything about what happened with that. Uh, oh, with, the... with the bounty hunt and all that shit, causing issues with them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can call yeah, him next time I see him and just see or one of us, whoever. I was gonna hug you, but you okay? I haven't seen him in a couple of days. I can still hug you. Maybe longer now. He's been hunting a lot. Who? Felix. My brother. No. She's gonna do it too. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I would never do that to my mother. Fred, on the other hand, is a very messy. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Everybody good, by the way? <laughs> Great. For the most part. Okay. Ivy, uh, you seem like something's on your mind. But I don't want to press you, okay? I'm fine. Okay. Oh. So. Yes, now I can't even remember who fucking told me, but uh, apparently there's a. They found a loophole for Delgado's group to be in Braithwaite. What? Mm, of course. Yep. They made him a security detail, so they have. Uh they can be there, but the. Uh, the marshals have been kicking him out whenever they see him in there. Who made him a security detail? Probably Grace. But there's no way Barlow don't know about it. I'll that go would have require a... executive decree. Do I have a conversation with his fiance? Man, now I'm see, because she wanna... absolutely hates Delgado. It was expected, but I wish Grace wouldn't have canceled. So, because I'm now I'm fucking curious on what this conversation was supposed to be, and why it was supposed to be with I me mean, in particular. It has to, because it was you in particular. It has to be about Inya. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I don't see what else it would be in regards. If it's but you. even then, like I did my time, right? Like what, <laughs> what is there to fucking ask? You know, she's gonna ask me to fucking explain myself. Like obviously, I'm gonna fucking tell her like. I mean, that's just going to be a pointless conversation. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I was curious about what you wanted to. 
Um, so, if the situation does arise to where the fucking cow police do decide to just say fuck it and move on in. I can't hear you. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. We should Speak probably up. take conversation over to the... We can go inside yeah, or go, go inside. Bar. Let's go in the house. Alright. It'll be crowded, but... The barn. Yeah, the barn. I know, but the... You wanna go with the... Go to the outhouse? Shh. You know. Shh. <laughs> it's naughty people. Oh, I'm in prison. Oh, there we go. I got the right prison. Oh, your boyfriend is a friend stuck outside. Ah, uh, they're coming in. You're my favorite person, so I gotta hurt you. <laughs> oh. I had to help you in the house. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, assuming they want to push the issue and be here when they're not uh, so-called scheduled to be here, then... Well... They technically have a right to the cattle. But if they start doing that shit, that's when we start really fucking pushing back. And they already would be showing that they don't have any intent on handling this the right way. So then I guess we go to guns. Well, I mean, my concern is that I wake up. I mean, you know, I mean, it could happen to anybody, right? You wake up, one of these motherfuckers are in the house. Like, it's not. I'm shooting them. It's gonna go straight to guns, yeah. Well, I they know shouldn't be in the house. They, their intent was never to be in the house, supposedly. So if that happens, then yeah. I'm twitchy when someone sneaks up on me in the house and I just woke up. Someone's gonna get shot. But what Almost exactly happened to me. Go ahead. Go ahead, are we supposed to do if it's just one of us at the house and there's a bunch of them around? Yeah, yeah what happens there's if been like, a couple times Michelle just wakes up? Yeah, I've woken up and there's been a it. bunch of people around. Stay in the house. If they come to the house, make yourself known. Yeah. Hmm. So for you, Michelle, just try to sneak out the back and just not be seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to... I don't want them to get fucking twitchy as well. Well, it well, probably doesn't help that I kind of wear the vest. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Just if someone I should wake up by themselves. Obviously, if they got a lot of people, you're not going to want to push the issue. That'd be stu stupid. You mm -hmm. just kind of take notes and see who you see and relay that information back to us. And it's something we'll have to deal with somehow in the future. What day are they supposed to be here one more time? Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are the days they come and uh, pick the cattle out to graze. And Saturdays are the days they uh, slaughter. And they yeah. will kill one batch, take those belts and whatnot to, to the wherever they take them to sell it. And then they come, the, the rest of the herd is let out and then they, they kill them the second batch. So they yeah, but just to, times. just to clarify, sorry. Um, that's just the times that are agreed upon. We don't right. know if they're coming any other time. So As expect of, them at any time. Right. As of right now, we're continuing with the deal as it was in place, and they should be too. So if they don't, that's when we're going to start having issues, and that information needs to be relayed. And then we'll act on it. Right, so we have Tuesdays, Saturdays, and what? Thursdays. Has there been a set time they've been showing up, or...? They usually show up after 8 o'clock. Yeah, like right after they like to get here and get it done. Okay. And, uh... If, like, part of your... Whatever notes you're gonna be taking on them, you need to take notes on how many people they have, and what time they're there, and what day that you saw them. How many employees do they have? Seven. Uh, yeah, on their business license they had, like... I'd have to look at it again, probably at least 10. Okay. You know... But they also utilize Aegis, uh, I don't know what their cattle security or, or yeah. livestock security or something, so they might have more. 
So I worked for Aegis um, when I first came to state, when it was kind of first up and running, and I know Elliot real well, and we kind of like left on pretty good terms, and I know Nadia knows him really well too. I, I could have a conversation with him and ask if there's more to what's going on besides them just wanting to move here, like if there's any third party motives for them coming, if he knew. Uh, but I also don't want to kind of tip it off and piss them off as well, you know? It could be a conversation I can try to have if you'd like me to. Well, I feel like they're pretty tight. Yeah. Considering they're both on the board for the Livestock Association. So That's I fair. feel like no matter what, they're not going to come down on our side regardless. And I doubt he'd feed you information. I don't know if it'd be beneficial to have that conversation. Yeah. Could backfire. Just an idea. Yeah, could backfire. If we knew we could trust him for whatever reason, maybe, but we don't know that at all. Yeah. Say that again? I said, unfortunately, trusting people can be a little hard. Yeah. Especially when they already do shit behind the scenes, trying to arrange shit. Especially when they say they're going to move in on a survey and it's our home. Yeah. <laughs> and he uh, to lie about what he said in his letter, too. I did yeah, didn't we have a copy of it? Yeah, she showed it to me. Okay. By then, we had kind of moved on from the topic, so I wasn't going to just bring it back just to shove it in his face. Gotcha. But I definitely need to go make copies of all the letters he wrote, because he definitely told me time, or dates that he would be around. Yeah. Let's make sure we got a few copies of those so he's not oh, yeah. like... All right. Awesome. Anything else for the good of the order? Saturday at what time? Saturday 11.30-ish. I want, want me to, to be here before that, just so. You want to get something uh, written up and I'll send some letters? Letters for what? Or did we tell everybody already? I already sent telegrams. Okay. Oh, did to you? Everybody, oh. yeah. <laughs> That's awkward. I did that earlier today. Somebody mentioned to me, and I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't see a telegram. Oops. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just make sure if you see anybody, make sure that, like, everybody got the telegram. Just mention it yeah. once in a while. There's a meeting this weekend. Uh... I can't really think of anything else. Rose is the one who got that information. About, sorry, I just fucking made a statement that came out of the blue for y'all. <laughs> <We laughs> um, yeah, like, yeah, I know, yeah, I had yeah. half a conversation in my head, and then I spit the back half out. Um, no, about Braithwaite and the fact that they found a legal loophole for them being there. That came from Rose and her kind of riding around with Rube. So if you guys see her riding around with Rube and not really a, trying to associate too much with cults, there's a reason for it. I think I don't really have anything else. Dang, I need to talk to Amber about something. I forgot.
Oh yeah, if you guys see uh that guy Bishop. He seems to be pretty decent. Just I heard Wyatt was questioning him last night about his intentions mm -hmm. on being around. Yeah, Bishop told me that uh earlier we went for like a little ride. Um, because we're waiting for Pedro to kinda wake back up or whatever was happening with him. Um and he told me that uh Wyatt kinda laid in to him and was asking him a bunch of questions. Good. Yeah, hell yeah. Apparently Wyatt asked him straight up if he wanted to mm -hmm. And he said he don't know yet. He's no, sir. feeling that's what I said. I was like he said that uh He's feeling us out. See if we're yeah. sure he even wants to be friends with. I asked him uh, earlier, and he said, "Well, when we were on the walk off, he told me that Wyatt questioned him for a few questions of my own, and he was just kind of like, he's just feeling us out. We haven't given him any reason to dislike us. Um, and he said he gave me a little bit of a talk about his loyalty." And he said he just wants to feel us out before he puts something like that down. I can respect because that. Mm -hmm. For him, for him, he's kind of the same way I am. Even if, like, for me, if like I'm backstabbed, I still trust the person. Like, if say something, like let's say Pedro took me and shot me, I'd still trust him and stuff. That's not saying that's happening, but. <laughs> well, I did throw I a knife just... in your arm. Yeah. <laughs> she walked into it. She did walk and he into was, it. Like. True. You can backstab me and hurt me, and I'd still be loyal to that person or group. And that's why I don't like giving my loyalty out so quickly. I have to feel it out first. And I was like, yeah, that's understandable. He seems interested, but as a... Um... We'll see what his level of intrigue is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I like the jack -off. <laughs> hmm. I asked Alex about that. I think I told you. Who's Alex? Jackpot? I don't know who that is. He's the British sounding one. He's also a doctor. I don't think I've ever met him. You have. Uh, he's the one that was a pacifist doctor in state, and then a week later he was a cold blooded killer to Jackdaw. Yeah. He's that one. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Seems to be a. I don't know. I'm tired. He's very loud. He's waking up after the storm. Not this bitch. My. And not me. Let me for a little bit. Oh, get some sleep, Mavi Poo, because on hey, Saturday. Hey, you're going to sleep <sighs> too. Oh my god, you Something had to bring Saturday. it up. Uh, Saturday. Why don't you just fucking ask me? I will on Saturday. House. I'm patient. Why are you keeping secrets from family? It's not a secret. I'll let the family know on Saturday. Oh my fucking god. When's you can answer wedding? to it then. <laughs> I don't know, Fred, when we get married. Huh? That's, that's <laughs> you and Matt. Love you, Abby. Oh no, it's you and me. Buckaroo. I fucking love you. Or me and Matt. Pedro, are you waking up? You want to use your bow uh, on me? I'm up for a few minutes. Okay. What? I'd like to talk to you. Well, actually, it's yeah. Sam's bow. Right. Ivy, you may have to fight the Skinner lady as well. Fucking wreck that <laughs> hair. Uh, you know, but that 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 wrong. I'm okay with. <laughs> that just Why? sounds like something Ellis would say. <laughs> you don't need no, Jesus. You don't have fun with her. I think if anybody needs Jesus, it's you, Abby. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 